We made it through Tuesday with fog to start, sunshine to end, and I have a feeling we'll see a near carbon copy of the day on the way for your Wednesday. Starting off with patchy morning fog, then the low clouds giving way to sunshine around midday, a possibility of some sea breeze showers into the afternoon hours, and then clearing out yet again for your Wednesday evening. Here's a closer look. So first thing in the morning, we're probably going to see temperatures and dew points very close to each other. Anytime we're reaching saturation, drizzle, fog, mist, possible. This is some video I took this morning, likely again tomorrow morning. Wait a couple of hours, the fog will probably lift. We may still see some lingering clouds through the mid-morning. But then as we work our way into afternoon, just as we did today, I am anticipating the return of sunshine. That said, there will be the possibility of a stray late afternoon sea breeze shower, though the more I look at things, the more likely it appears that it would be for a far southeast zone, including the plains areas of Giddings as well as LaGrange, maybe into Bastrop as well. So 74 in the morning, 84 by noon, 91 degrees at 4 o'clock, and by 5 p.m. back down to 81. The next big question is our weekend cold front. I've been watching all the latest, and it looks like this cold front might arrive a little later, meaning Saturday morning we're still warm and muggy, and it might be more toward the afternoon or maybe even early evening before that cold front pushes through, bringing with it a chance of showers. Here's a look at the European computer model, which is one that I actually normally favor, and it shows that the cold front may only be making it through the Austin area as we head through overnight Saturday and into Sunday morning. If this is the case, then Saturday has the potential to be much warmer than the 85 degrees I'm currently showing, and Sunday, instead of starting in the 50s, would be much warmer and also possibly wetter, so a lot of this bears watching. For a little contrast, here's the GFS model run midday on Tuesday. What's interesting to note is those areas of green corresponding to precipitation chances along and ahead of that cold front. This is Saturday morning. As we work our way towards Saturday midday, the front trying to move through the Austin area, but drying up, not much precipitation. And then it is through by the time we reach Saturday evening off to the south. So if this pans out, then we do see the front push through pretty quickly, falling temperatures into your Saturday evening, and a cool, crisp, and very comfortable day ahead for Sunday. Of course, those are just two of several other models that I look at each and every day, and I hate it when they don't agree, but this often does happen. So we've got to keep on watching. After all, it's only Tuesday. But if you do have tickets to ACL, Friday plan on warm, even hot, muggy, Saturday, plan on change as that cold front moves in and near us. Sunday, more than likely, will be the cooler, more comfortable day. But we will have to really watch the timing of that cold front. And along with that, we'll have to watch how much moisture it may bring. Right now, I'm leaning toward less than a tenth of an inch of actual rainfall. Unless the cold front slows down, right now the European computer model is the heaviest in terms of precipitation. We'll wait and see.